What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Juizy. Welcome to another edition of Juizy Delivers. My longtime viewers, welcome back for my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Monday, October 3rd or something like that. Thank God it's Monday! And we are going to start off the day by getting my uh, scooter that was stolen from the towing place. The police was able, I filed a police report. They got the scooter. I gotta go to the towing place and get the scooter. I haven't gotten it for a few weeks. And the guy that towed my car told me, hey, you better get that fast before they, they, they're, they're gonna keep charging you. And I forgot about that. I forgot that they raised the price. I, I didn't know. I, I, I don't normally go to towing places and, and tow you know, a bunch of stuff. So this is new to me. Let's go. I'm gonna take you guys along in the journey of me getting my car, my scooter uh, that was stolen from the towing place. And then we start making it happen. We did not go to the gym today. I woke up super, like, super tight. Like, I, that workout yesterday was super crazy. I didn't record the whole workout, obviously, but I mean, it was super tough. And then I woke up like at four o'clock, like, ah, nah, forget it, forget it. So, and the place opened at eight, the place opens at 8.30 in the morning. It is like nine o'clock already. So we could, uh, we're charging the car and we could go already. But hold on, before you go, before you go, just so you know, I wasn't even prepared, I'm, I apologize. Just so you know, before you go, sip your zo. Now let's effing go, The Rock, if you're watching this or anybody that is affiliated or even has a, has ever sniffed The Rock before, has ever come within two feet, let him know that I love him and I want him to give me a shout out in this channel because I want this channel to blow up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe on my people. I just got this whole intro all mixed up, but it's all good in the hood. It wasn't planned. Let's go get it. All right, I've been charging this to 80%. 81. Get this back to where it is. All right. Let's go. All right, I did not introduce myself because there may be some people that clicked on the video uh, because of the title says something about a scooter. But um, I, I know I should have said that in the beginning and I apologize, I'm still learning. But I didn't introduce myself. I am Juizy Delivers. I do deliveries basically every day. And uh, I'm just gonna show my people, uh, me, you know, getting the scooter. But I'm thinking about, you know, getting more into like showing my everyday life like not everything but you know like errands here and there kind of like a vlogging lifestyle type of thing it, it is still going to be the majority of me hustling and doing deliveries but i might show like you know a few things out of the deliveries here and there i might you know just to switch it up just so it's not very repetitive and so that i could see if i could grow because remember guys we're trying to blow up in the youtube world you know what i'm saying so you know i want to see if i could branch out and see if i can reach some new people you know what i'm saying so we get some new people because that's the only way we're gonna blow up you know what i'm saying and uh I, be, and this channel is me recording my journey to becoming a millionaire and to show that it is possible for anybody to make it happen for themselves to become successful to do what they want to do if they put in the time the effort and they and they get their mind straight and they just believe that they can do it because a lot of us you know, we, we, we don't believe in ourselves. And I think we have to believe that we can do it. You know, that not, you know, we see others do it on TV, but we could do it as well if we put in the time and effort. You know, we're all we're all amazing people. We are all beautiful people. We can do it. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I, why I wanted to introduce myself because there may be some people that click on it because of the scooter. But that's basically what I do, deliveries. Now let's go. This place is a little bit far away, so we're still driving. All right, this is, uh, I've never been here before, guys. <clears throat> is that a trash can? I mean, uh, a tr one of those trash things? I don't know, but I've never been here. This is kind of far. If you're from Miami, this is probably uh, close to Hialeah. I forget, I always have to be recording things, you know? If I want to do vlogging, I got to record, like, most things, you know? Uh, what is this? Is that a truck? Right here. This is the. I don't know what type of port this is, but. All right, my people, we are here. This is the place. Uh, this it has to be this because look, it's RM towing. That's what the. That's what they said. So we should be in the right place. I don't know where the scooter is. It's 
scooter should be somewhere here. We will see what happens. A lot of trucks. All right, so we got a few things here. The people are inside this warehouse, so let me go and see. All right, I'm just here in the office, just waiting. Um, I might, if, if it works, I might drive it home. I don't know what's as far, but hey, I mean. All right, so while I'm here waiting, I was look, I was looking at my Instacart ratings, and I, I knew, I knew it for a fact that I was gonna get a less than five stars due to the order that you saw in the last video of a lot, basically every item being out of stock due to the trucks not being able to come in, and because of the hurricane or whatever. Lo and behold, I looked at the rating. I got a three-star rating, and I got a a, a four-star rating removed because of severe red weather or something. But the three-star rating appeared. I mean, I knew I was gonna get a low star. We get punished for stuff being out of stock. I mean, I tried my best, and I still got a three star. So now my rating is a 4.96. But it's okay, guys. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. We just uh, continue moving forward, I guess. Alright guys, so this is the Gracias man. This is a scooter here. They they stole this guys. Look, they stole it because look, you don't even need a key. It just goes straight up right here. And that's it. Look, this what I did I used I use this for deliveries. Look. I use this for deliveries and I had the thing here, the the phone thing, but they took it out and they put it here. Look at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a picture of how it was before, but they put it here. They basically stole this to do deliveries, pretty much. And uh, I don't know what this is, probably some shoes. And they took out the key, and then this is how you turn it on. You don't need a key to turn it on. These guys are pros. So let's, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys how much it costs. All right, guys, so I'm in the road. I already talked to my dad about it, you know, just, just to let him know. And um, for me, I have to pay $822 to pick it up. I had it there for like, they, the, I saw that the, when the police called me, they called me at uh, September 15th. It's already the beginning of October, so it was like 15 days. So $800. And another guy told me that he had to, he, he got, he left it there so long, like 45 days, they suspended his license. He only paid 500 bucks. And I guess the right, the, the prices rise for everything, even for, for towing stuff. So I'm gonna add to eat up the 800 bucks, guys. Thankfully, I have the money. Um, I may have to work a little bit harder now this week or I could just take it as a loss you know can I can I deduct that as an expense I don't know maybe towing costs I don't know you know what I might do that um, but yeah guys I'm gonna go home all right so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna uber back to the place get the scooter and drive it back I, that way I could get my helmet and stuff I could I could take you guys you know I guess this video is gonna be straight up just me getting the scooter no deliveries I'm, i'll see if i can squeeze in a delivery or two um and then get the scooter drive it back and that's it the, the scooter turned on all right let's go guys we gotta pick up the hustle this week we're gonna have to grind hard i don't like staying late in the streets but i might have to do it i might have to do it guys next video though this video is gonna be straight up me getting the scooter all right, so I'm gonna use Uber as a customer for the first time in years. You know what? This is gonna be a good, uh, this is gonna be a good uh, content where I can show you guys how it works as a customer. If you guys are Uber, because I know there's one guy or girl, or I think it's a dude here in the comments that he does Uber and Lyft. So maybe I can show you how the customer side works. I'm gonna tell you guys. Yeah, let's go online. Oh, it's gonna be a good video, guys. Yeah, we're down $820. We're gonna hustle hard though, and that's it. Money, money will be made, remade. You know, money could be remade, especially with these gig apps. You can just uh, hustle extra hard, and that is it. Let's go. Guys, I have a five-star rating as an Uber customer, so, and I know that drivers can rate, can, rate, can rate Uber drivers, I mean, Uber passengers, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm a five-star. I haven't I haven't used Uber in years, so. All right, let's, uh, let's go home and get this started. All right, guys. This is uh, $400 that we got. $400, I thought they were gonna give me a bunch of hundreds. Guys, you know how, this is 400. You know how hard I gotta work for this 400 just for it to be spent just like that? Just like that? That's that's how crazy life is. That's why we gotta work less and make more. So that's why I'm diversifying my income. 
But for now, we're going to have to continue, you know, uh, sacrificing, not sacrificing, giving our time for money. But the future is we don't have to be working for our money. It's going to be making itself. But for now, we're going to have to keep working for our money. We're going to hustle hard this week. Uh, this 400, I have to get 500. Uh, there's a chase around here. So I'll go to the chase, get another 500. And then you already know. All right, guys. So it says I, I went to chase and it said that the withdrawal limit is exceeded. So I can't get another 440. I'm going to try this ATM again. The, the, the last ATM, if it doesn't work, I'm going to see if I can go inside the bank. Or well, maybe I could call them. I don't know. All right, guys, it didn't work, but I guess I could use my other card. My card, I could use my other Chase card, the one that I use just to pay the bills. That's it. I transfer everything else to my other card. So I'm going to have to take money out of the card, that card, I guess. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, man, guys, this is, this is a, uh... oh, well, money comes and goes, I guess. All right, guys, we got the last. It's, uh, let me show you here. Four, four hundred and forty, four hundred and forty dollars, guys. Uh, I got four forty because it's eight twenty-two, and I took out eight forty in total. Yeah, guys. Well, it is what it is. All right. So the pickup is seventeen miles away from where I am, and it's gonna be thirty-two dollars for seventeen miles. And I don't know how much of that goes to the driver. I don't know how much I have to tip as well. I mean, I'm gonna tip the most, you know, the most, of course, you know, we're drive, we're hustlers out here. We gotta tip our people. All right, so the customer, I mean, the driver wants to cancel. I just saw a message on my notifications and I'm trying to see how to respond to the message. I don't know, but they wanna cancel. I don't know why. He said, oh, I'm trying to cancel, but the app doesn't work. So I don't know. All right, I forgot to tell you guys that, look, I have my helmet ready for whenever I, uh, I go, they're trying to cancel yeah all right so i just canceled the the ride myself just to the, he probably accepted by mistake and saw oh my god 17 miles no i'm not gonna do it so that's probably what happened and i mean that's what happens when you start accepting at will without even looking but it's okay uh we are hustlers too we we understand i guess uh so but he said that oh i'm trying to cancel but the app doesn't let me or something or whatever so i'm like whatever let me i'll cancel it myself it was easy for me to cancel they refunded my money right away and then I got a new uh, request and then the fare changed. It went down $1. All right, so this driver has a 4.83 rating, has 12,000 rides, and it asked me to use a pin to verify. So guys, I'm kind of scared now. Now I'm scared. Like why would, and why do, why would I need a pin to, to drive a person? That's kind of scary. Um, we will see what happens. If I, don't, if I release this video, that means that I'm alive. So let's see, let's go. All right, so this other driver canceled. So this is the second driver that canceled. I'm guessing they're not seeing 17 miles or whatever. So now I got another one. This is a top rated uh, driver, supposedly 4.94 rating. Uh, this is, it doesn't say how many rides they have done, but it's a top rated. You know what? Now that two people canceled, I'm gonna give this person a huge tip. You know what? Just for that, just for that. All right, let's go. All right, I am back here. All right, guys, we got the, we paid for it. We got it. It actually looks pretty cool. It's my favorite color. All right, so this is how much I paid, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna show the, the place, but this is what it is. Tote hook fee, 123. Admin fee, 137. Storage, this is the biggie. Storage, 21 days, probably. $26, $561. Eight twenty-two, ladies and gents. Eight twenty-two. Cash payment. That's how it is. But let's turn this baby on. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn it on, or how I turn it on. You gotta press this button here, and then. Well, I can't. Actually, I can't do it while I'm driving. I have to hold here. Look, that's me right there. What's up? Uh. I have to do it without, I can't do it while I'm recording. Guys, I'm here. They, the, the, the scooter actually works pretty good. They, they fixed it up. I'm gonna see like this. But, but yeah, guys, it drives pretty good. Guys, this phone almost fell from here. It almost fell from here, guys. Oh my goodness. Wow. 
I had to make it, uh, okay, I can't put it there anymore for sure. But guys, this scooter drives way better than when I had it. I think they fixed it up. Man, I might even keep it, to be honest. I might keep it, I don't know. I, I don't know, we'll see. But as you can see, I have this for the, 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 the heatness. All right, let's go. Guys, I am in the street right here. Guys, I forgot to tell you that the Uber driver, okay, I put in the address and, and Uber got the address wrong. I didn't get it wrong. So the guy had to drive um, like an extra few miles and it took us from 12.30 p.m. until 1.15. So 40, 45 minutes, I gave the guy an extra $25. The ended up being 39 bucks and then it said to 10% to give 10%, 20%, 25%. And the highest 25% was $9.90, basically 10 bucks. I'm like, man, that's nothing. 10 bucks plus whatever Uber gives you, no, nah, no. Nah. So what I did was I gave him 25 bucks and then I don't know how much Uber gave him. So that's uh, that's what I did. So hopefully, you know, I have to compensate for his time, you know, but let's keep driving. All right, check out, check out my legs, my hairy legs. more than halfway there we are actually almost there we're almost at home in one piece we did not get in a crash and that is it look so this doesn't need a key it doesn't work it's using this thing all right guys so since i'm already out i'm out on the out of the streets and i'm already like in a safe area i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna show you guys how this thing turns on so Basically, they took off the, they, they put a little switch here. And let me see if I can show you. They put a little switch right here. That's how you turn it on. And then, so this doesn't work anymore. And I'm gonna show you how, how, I, how I turn it on right now. I'm gonna put this here on the, on the kickstand or on the tripod. And then this is how you turn it on. So you just, Flip the switch and then turn this to the right and then and then it's on. And then to turn it off, to turn it off you just go like this. So that's how these uh that's how these people did it. And if you're from Miami, I'm gonna tell you guys where they found it. They found it in Hialeah. And you already know if you're from uh, South Florida, Hialeah is where all the sketchy things happen. I, you know, that they have a, at least, they have, they're famous for that. Uh, I'm not saying anything that it's a bad area. I'm just saying that a lot of sketchy stuff happens in Hialeah. That's where they found it. And we got it here. I gotta see what I'm gonna do now. But yeah, guys. All right, so I just took a shower. I didn't put a gel in my hair because I'm not trying to impress nobody. So I'm gonna go to the DMV and see what I can do. They took away, they stole the license plate. So I'm gonna see what I can do. That's, maybe they could take it out of my name, the whole scooter, take the whole thing out of my name and then maybe sell it somewhere, who knows. But let's go, I will let you guys know what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. We made zero dollars and zero cents, but this is how much we spent for the day. On the towing, on the, on the towing, we spent $822, and on the Uber ride, we spent $67 for a total of $889 spent. Uh, real quick, let me go over the Uber ride, like the breakdown and how much they charged me. So they charged me subtotal $29.38. Subtotal and then for the Dolphin Expressway 66 cents Florida's Turnpike $1.07 uh, Dolphin Expressway 66 cents booking fee $10 Temporary fuel surcharge 55 cents. They're not paying us the fuel charge, but they're still charging the customer the fuel charge and On the tips I tipped them 25 bucks. So the payment was $42.32 plus $25 tip uh, for a total of $67.32, ladies and gentlemen. 
you know what we're gonna hit it hard for the rest of the week so stay tuned for my next seven videos i'm gonna hit it hard and if i do too many deliveries after hours like at night time i'm not gonna record all of it because i don't want my videos my next few videos to be like an hour long money's money we just had to spend all this money but we're gonna make it back we're gonna hustle it back and that is why i want to emphasize that we want to diversify our income we don't want to be doing deliveries for the rest of our lives so we have to start transferring our mindset to have our money work for us instead of us working for our money so instead of us you know uh, using our time for money the money's working for us so we don't have to be using that time to make money it's already made we can use that time for, for something else but for now we are you know in the early stages of the hustling life we still have to hustle we still have to get out there i'm gonna have to hustle extra hard to make this money we lost some money we'll make it back guys money money comes and goes i'm not gonna cry about it i mean it is what it is we're just gonna have to make it back and then we learn our lesson and we just keep moving forward we gotta stay like that with a positive mindset and that is it maybe this will be the fuel that we needed to hustle hard on a daily basis maybe because i've been kind of like slacking here and there you know not working not hustling as as hard maybe as i should maybe this will give us the extra fuel to work the next seven days hustling hard and then that could be our routine because we haven't gotten back to our routine where i'm hitting the gym at 5 30 every single day i used to do that all the time and then I stopped doing it for one week and then after that one week I'm now on and off but now maybe this is a spark that we need the wake-up call that we need to keep to increase the grind increase the hustle and let's all do it together guys let's all do it in a healthy way let's not burn out either let's not burn ourselves out doing this let's continue the hustle together but if you made it to the end of this journey thank you for watching don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the youtube world and if you like this video and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries and maybe a few errands here and there just subscribe but my people stay safe out there keep hustling and let's go